Hi, I'm Davids with the Chesky Animation Specialist at Autodesk. Uh, we're here today in the VR lab we have in the Sydney office. And what I want to talk about is the mobile units that we use uh, when we're going out on the field to see customers, uh, show studios what we're sort of working on. Um, so as you can see, we've sort of got a very nice lab set up here, but quite often we need to go out on the road. Um, and we needed to come up with a, a unit that worked and packed down quite nicely. So this unit we've got here is sort of everything in, in the, uh, all combined together. Um, so when you start, when you get your HTC Vive, oh, and that's the other thing too, so we're using um, HTC Vives as our VR headsets on the whole unit. Uh, and then we're also using, the computers that we're using is the MSI uh, VR1, and they are actually the wearable backpacks, and they're just incredible, they're absolutely amazing. So you don't need to be tethered, so the, the user, their experience is completely untethered, so they get a free, free roam of the, the volume space that you can create. So anyway, moving on, um, the, the HTC Vive, the box that it comes in is this nice uh, cardboard box, and I'll just open it up here. And you can see, um, you know, opened up here, it's got foam in line here. Uh, it's also got these sort of pull-out areas here. And I'll leave this out because um, this is a, the new Vive that we've got. The Vive that I've got packed in here was actually a Vive that we picked up mid last year. So the packing is, the packing that it came with is a little bit different. That's important, you'll see why in a sec. So leave that out. But as you can see, you know, this is cardboard um, and this is just not gonna hold up um, for any length of time. So we really need to move, uh, get, get some sort of um, uh, box, mobile box unit that would work. And after doing a bit of research and playing around with different options that we had, uh, we decided to go with uh, the Pelican system, and what we got was the Pelican Air 1650. Now the reason I went with the Air over other ones is because this is actually lighter uh, by several kilos, and that's really important because we're often going on flights, and you know you get stung depending on which airline you go with. Um, you know you've got you've got real limits on how much you can take in, how many kilos you can take in the cargo uh, before you get get extra charges. So this is a lot lighter. Uh, the other thing that's good about this is, as you can see here, we've got the wheels here, so it's nice and easy to move it around. Uh, it's dust, waterproof, all, all of that sort of stuff. So once you put everything in here, you lock it down, it's safe. The other thing that's great that I love about this is you've actually got these hard points here and here. So you can put like a, like a, a chain through here or, or a padlock or anything through here. So once it's in here, you put the padlock on, no one's gonna get inside this. All right, so let's open this up and have a look at what I've put in here and how I've sort of packed it in. It is a little bit of a, you know, great game of Tetris to get it in here, but um, once you get it in here, it works. All right, so opening it up, you can see here we've got uh, the VR1 sitting here and we've got the headset sitting here. So what I've done with this is I've actually used a lot of the foam that came with um, the, the items in that packaging originally. Uh, instead of redoing it, um, making all this foam myself, a lot of this stuff you can reuse. So this foam actually came with the box for the VR1. So I'm just gonna take that out and put that to the side for a sec. Um, next, I'm gonna take these out. So this is, here you can see we've got the hand controllers and the cameras here. Next, it's just fallen over, um, but we've got the headset. I'll just take that foam out so you can see what's going on here. So Karen, if you wanna move in a little bit closer. So you can see we've got the two tripods sitting here, which you need for these uh, sensors to go on. This is the battery, uh, sorry, battery. This is the power unit for the computer. Uh, these are the two batteries that go on the, com on the computer. Now, the great thing about these batteries is they are hot sinkable, which means that you can change the batteries out as the while the computer's still running. You just gotta make sure that you don't pull both the batteries out at the same time, because obviously you run out of, there'll be no power to run it, but you can pull that battery out while this one's in, put in a new live battery that's fully charged, 
and then take the old battery out again and put in the new battery. So basically it means you've got continuous play on battery life, which is, you know, important. Uh, the other thing here we've got is the monitor and um, keyboard mouse combo. So this is important because uh, you need the, the monitor and keyboard when you first start up the computer. Uh, basically this is just like any other computer, so you need this so you can actually see what you're doing and this so you can type in your passwords and do all the other stuff. Once you initialize uh, the VR through Steam, you initialize VR, then you actually don't need the keyboard or, or the monitor anymore and you can navigate um, through Explorer just using the hand controllers and all that and I've done that heaps and it's actually really uh, intuitive you get used to it really quickly so you need this to start off with but once you've got VR uh, initialized on the computer then you don't need it anymore okay so I'm going to just move that to the side here um, now finally just under all this you can see we've got um, more cabling for you know, power units and all that. We've got a nice big um, uh, extension cable here. I've got a couple extension cables here actually. Uh, we've got a power board here. Um, and that's it really. So as you see, all of that sort of packs down. Now, I'm gonna pack this back again so you can see it all packed up. So first, I just put the monitor in here and leave that. There's a nice little sort of um, space cavity there that it sits in quite nicely next i just put the vr unit and, and so let me just um actually before i do that let me just take the unit out of here so you can see what it looks like so this is the unit itself as you can see the batteries go in there and there and this is the foam here so the way i found it best works is you actually put it in upside down you have to take the batteries out to pack it up so that's the way the foam is sort of cut, is with the batteries out. Like so. And then you just drop it in like so. So get a good squish in. Next, we'll just put the keyboard back in here and you can see it slots in quite nicely. Actually, I put that the wrong way around. It slots in quite nicely there. Just move the cables out the way. Okay, now. The way, the next thing I do is I put these two units in here. Um, but I just wanted to show, so this is the old packing um, foam. I just wanted to show that this system still works with the new foam. So you can drop the new foam in here. It takes up essentially the same space. It actually takes up a little bit less space. So you can see this is the way I've got it set up. And this is the two hand units and the controllers here. And you can see that they drop in um, and they take up essentially the, exactly the same space. So if you're using a new Vive and you've got this new packing foam, you can still use this, it works just as well. So I've got that in there, I'll just move that aside there. Um, we've got the foam here, just drop that foam in there. And then this is just some boarding foam just to protect the headset the headset in like so now the one thing you want to be careful with the headset is just make sure that when you're closing this uh, these cables aren't sticking out like this um, someone's already pinched the end of this one so you just need to make sure that that you're not doing that otherwise you'll destroy those cables okay next um, batteries just slot in quite nicely here and you can see I've actually got quite a bit of room here so I've got two batteries here right now but you can see if I actually stack this battery on top of this battery I've actually got enough space for four batteries there so there's more than enough space there and if I wanted to I can actually stack some of the batteries back here so I can actually have about six um, I suspect probably eight batteries actually no I'll take that back probably six batteries and the charging unit would easily fit in here like so and then just make sure everything's packed like this and there you go that's it done all right thanks for watching